He is the Iceman. But after failing to win a title so far in 2021, Jasper Svensson is hoping to heat things up and advance here at the Kia PBA playoffs. Will the Swedish sensation overpower his Australian opponent, Sam Cooley, in the round of 16? We'll find out next, here on FS1. The second weekend of the 2021 Kia PBA playoffs continuing here from Bolero Milford in Connecticut. And here are the matchups. Doherty, Sterner, Svensson, Cooley, all four hoping for the quarterfinals. Left side of the bracket, Kyle Troop, Thomas Larson, Francois Lavoie, and Bill O'Neill winners into the round of eight. On the right side, Christian Ascona from Puerto Rico shut out Chris Biden. Two seed, two games, the non EJ Tackett knocked off Chris Gray, the 2019 champ in a very Close match. Welcome everyone to Milford, Connecticut, outside New Haven. Dave Ryan alongside the Hall of Famer, Randy Peterson. Randy, they're all trying for this stupendous, this incredible WWE belt for the winner. Partners with the PBA, by the way. Speaking of cool, Jesper Svensson, he's got not one, but two nicknames. One is the Iceman, the other is? Uh, he's got a new one now. It's the Slim Reaper. Hit up PBA.com. Place your vote. Maybe we can put something up there and the folks can vote on that. If not, hit social media. Let us know which one you like best. But already with 10 titles, the most powerful strike ball on the PBA Tour and the youngest to ever win the Tournament of Champions. A winner twice in 2020. And, folks, I think you might see something today, or excuse me, tonight, that we don't see very often from Jesper Svensson, and that's him throwing reactive resin instead of the urethane bowling ball. Let's keep a very close eye on that. Well, Tom Doherty. Long career, distinguished career. Things are going pretty well. That is until Tampa, where he just took the world by storm with not one but two titles. He owned the World Series of Bowling in Tampa this season. Best year of his career, total domination at the WSOB, coming away with his first major title, the World Championship, and then going on to win the Scorpion Championship, the only player on tour with two wins this season. And now, Tampa Tom is joined by our Kimberly Preston. Thanks, guys. Well, Tom, you've had a phenomenal season so far. You won your first major. You dominated at the World Series of Bowling. And you're the only athlete to win two titles this season. So naturally, your name is in the running for Player of the Year. So how much pressure does that put on you coming into the PBA playoffs? I'm trying not to think about it. Um, I, I, I'm a firm believer that I, I have to win another tournament. So there's not a lot of pressure. I'm just trying to win this one, just like I'm going to be trying to win the next one. If I win another one, then we can talk about it. Do you want to win Player of the Year? It would be awesome, definitely. Well, the last time we saw you was at the Super Slam, and unfortunately, you tweaked your back, and it took you out of contention for that. So why don't you give an update on how you're feeling? Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm feeling a little better. Uh, the time off helped. Um, it's still there, but it's, it's kind of one of those injuries now that if I bowled good, it doesn't bother me. And if I throw a bad shot, I'm going to blame my back. So I, ha I, can't, I can't lose now. I love the honesty. Good luck today. Oh, it's a good matchup, guys. Thanks for that. Doherty, Sterner, head to head. Round of 16. Let's meet the bowlers. From Riverview, Florida, bowling out of Oakfield, lanes in Brandon, Tom Doherty. Who's having the last laugh now? Looks like it's PBA veteran and former Mr. 100, Tom Doherty. After years of having to live down and laugh off, setting the PBA record for the lowest score bowled on TV, Darty is in the midst of a major comeback. Major as in the world championship he won just days before winning his second career Scorpion Championship at the 2021 World Series of Bowling. With his third and fourth PBA Tour titles and a career high in annual earnings, TD is definitely having the last lap in 2021. This is Tom Darty. Tampa Tom. Arsenal to begin today's action. Round of 16 underway for Doherty. Nice start. See if that back holds up. Living in Rochester, New York, and rolling out of ABC Gates Bowl in Gates, New York. Jason Sterner.
If showing up is truly half the battle, Jason Sterner is on his way to victory. Sterner has been a respected and consistent PBA pro for over 15 years, with three national titles, including the 2013 Don Carter Classic, in which he bowled a 299 to win. But he's been showing up and showing out on the tour this season more than ever. With fourth and fifth place finishes at the Masters and U.S. Open, it seems his next big title win is just within reach. Can his persistence continue to pay off at the PBA playoffs? This is Jason Sterner. He's the 14th seed, Jason Sterner. The flash is ready to perform here today in Milford, Connecticut. Trip 10, good start. Jason Sterner, we saw him make back-to-back -back shows at the Masters and the U.S. Open. Throwing it real straight, really hard with urethane. Now we're going to watch him attempt to open up the lane with reactive resin. Also fourth, Randy at the Chameleon Championship. The World Series of Bowling, you talked about top of the broadcast, Tom Dory dominant with two titles of the five awarded that week. Oh, hold. Left lane, wants hold, gets it. <laughs> You know, that's why you talk to it. Sometimes it listens. What would the percentage be of how many times the ball actually listens to the ball? Depends on who's throwing. <laughs> <clears throat> Last year, knocked out by Brad Miller. Tom was the 22 seed a year ago. So if you're noticing at home there's no blue tint in the oil, well, we had a machine malfunction. Can I get a slime so we had to Can use a, a different machine. It is the exact same pattern, 44 feet, and you're going to see the players playing inside the middle part of the lane and arcing it back. Already see Tom Doherty right around fourth arrow. Jesper Svensson, our lone left-hander. It's going to be interesting to see if he stays with the reactive resin, which we watched him use in practice, or if he does go to his patented non-reactive urethane ball. Twenty-year pro, Tom Doherty. Look that Looking rate. good. Look at that rev rate, Dave. Wow. About uh, two hundred. More RPMs than uh, than I have. Well, we're off to a perfect start. That rev rate matching up well with the conditions here. It is a race to two. A lot of bowling left. Win two games, you advance. If it's tied one each, ninth, tenth frame roll off. Seen plenty of those. Not the key of PBA playoffs so far this year. Sterner. Whoa. Two ten. Split. Come on. Yeah, not a good shot. You can see it wide right of target there. Down lane. He's going to try to get his ball over here and try to cut that two pin over there into the ten. Give me two. Not easy. Mm -hmm. All right, settle down. Come on. Maybe a little adrenaline on that first shot is his tendency is to throw it hard. We talked about Randy race to two. Two games and you're through to the next round. The ninth, tenth frame roll offs have been really fun to watch so far. Left lane for Sterner. Like that one all the way. Much better. Looks like the left lane still hooking a little bit more than the right lane. And there's Sterner in between third and fourth arrow. 
Tom Doherty now perfect for three. Pretty agile for a 46-year-old, didn't he? Always have that very unique one-handed release. Anyone else do that? He's the only one on tour. You know, what's really unique about his style is that extended push away. Watch this when he moves the ball away from his body. How about you? How about it? Five up, five down. A little, little inside a target. Ball holds nicely, but again, check out that pushway. Not only does it go out, it goes up. So a real short backswing. It's delayed, and that's because of the height of his backswing. As we've heard from Tom, the moment he walked into the bowling center here in Milford, we asked him, how's the back? He said, it's great. Feeling a lot better. Tough to watch Super Slam where he got hurt a few weeks back. Almost a 7-10 for Sterner. And the Flash just has the 10 pin to contend with here. Jason Sterner, just the opposite. Higher swing gets the ball into the swing much sooner than Tom Doherty. And a unique ball roll. I thought our Zoom call, the three of us with the bowlers this week, was particularly interesting, your interaction with Jason Sterner. Oh, what about it? You're talking about being a journeyman. Yeah. You're talking about how impressed you were watching him in Merritt Island, Florida years ago. Yeah. Brevard County. His work ethic, how much he put into it, it really impressed you and stuck with you, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I walked into the building one day, and he's down there on the high end practicing by himself. He's got a... His, his video going set up and um, just just grinding away. Uh, he, he's always been a big practice guy. And he's always been working and trying to get better. And I think with the addition of his um, his workout routine, you know, it's, it's it's changed things for him. But, you know, those last couple of majors where he went back to back, you know, he, he was able to do what he likes to do, and that's throw it straight and hard. And that essentially got him into the playoffs. Fourth at the Chameleon in Tampa, and then fourth and fifth at the SBC Masters, the New York Open in back-to-back -back weeks. Challenging conditions and formats in Reno. Underway, Doherty Sterner, Kia PBA playoffs. From just outside New Haven, Connecticut, more on the way. The PBA on FS1 is sponsored by Guaranteed Rate. If you believe it, you can do it. Guaranteed Rate. Believe you will. And by Kia, introducing the all-new Sorento, the world's first storytelling machine. Yesterday's highlights here, Randy. Round of 16, Christian Kona. Really good against the two-seed and U.S. Open champ, Chris Vine. Yeah, he really was, man. He controlled the pocket beautifully. And then coming through in the 10th frame to seal the deal in two games. A sweep. 258, 238 games as Kona. The second match, Prather Tackett. A matchup of two superstars. To a roll off, one by EJ. Yeah, this one got interesting, didn't it? Chris Prather lost in game one, comes back, wins game two, and then it goes to a roll off, and EJ Tackett comes out victorious. As frustrated we've seen Chris Prather ever on the lanes, he could not figure things out. Figuring it out, well, so far it's Tom Doherty with the front five. And a big lead on Jason Sterner. Race the two, game one, midway point. $30,000, $10,000 bonus, excuse me, with a 300 game. 
Did you say 30,000 and yeah. then 10? There, there have been 30. Well, now you have to come up with the additional 20. Oh, okay. We'll just take we'll just take it out of one of your paychecks. <laughs> Looking for the front six. Yeah. Just, Trip 10. Just saw his 10 out, didn't he? Kick save and a beauty on the 10 pin there for Tom Doherty. And this is when you know your bowling ball is going through the pins the right way, when the pins react the way they did on this shot here. Six pin sidewall, tattoos the 10. See ya. How about you? What a start for Tampa Tom. Front seven. Just a good old fashioned thumping here in game one. As Turner's going to start fishing around and maybe change bowling balls, and that's exactly what he's doing here. He should. Seventh for Sterner. That's better. Let's go back to Kimberly. Well, guys, before the break, Randy mentioned Jason Sterner's workout regimen and it's something he's actually known for. So his girlfriend, Heather DeRico, who is a strength and conditioning coach, actually puts together specialized workout routines for him that vary every three to four weeks. Now, the workouts change intensity depending on if he's competing or not. So weeks he is competing, he does less reps with higher weight and the opposite if he isn't. But all the workouts consist of push, pull, hinge, and squats. In addition to all that, doing it three to four days a week, he also does cardio and conditioning. Can't believe the guy's in great shape. No question. And as he's told us throughout his different TV appearances this year, it has really helped his game a great deal. And I started sweating just listening to that routine. <laughs> Left lane. Yeah. The hinge, by the way, the bending over at the waist part of the workout regiment for Jason Stern. But man, he said sometimes it gets pretty intense, but he feels better. He bowls better. Big part of his life now. The only time I do a hinge is to open up the cooler. All Tom Doherty this game. Yeah, and uh, wondering if he's going to stick with that ball or try something else. But it's all about this man right here. And oh, wait, there's the alert. Yeah, chasing 300 alert. I'm not going to say it. It's out. Seven up, seven down. $10,000 bonus for a perfect game. Eight frame. No! Seven, ten instead. Too hard. Mm. Too hard. Tommy. Well, we had one made uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, maybe, a, what, a month ago? By Andrew Nyer. Tom Doherty throws it plenty hard enough to bounce one out. Anthony Nyer did it. Oh my! Out of the back of the pit with the heat, and it nearly took out the seven for another one. This is close. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that was just a fraction from deflecting in the right direction. Guaranteed he makes it if we were in Tampa. <laughs> His home house. Ball change. Four pin. Ball change for Tom. He's just kind of testing the waters. Game one firmly in hand. He's just trying to take a look to see what, a, what else, or what other options he has. Back looks pretty good. It's holding up. This one is over. Game one goes to the three seed, Tom Doherty. No sweat. Easily over 14 seed to Jason Sterner. It's a race to two. Game two on the way from just outside New Haven, Connecticut.
Welcome back to the 2021 Kia PBA playoffs here in Connecticut. Tom Doring. Easy win over Jason Sterner, game one, 245, 209. The front seven. And a game one victory, the race to two. Two games, you'll move on. If Sterner can rally and win game two, we'll have a ninth, 10th frame roll off, which we've had several times already in these PBA playoffs. And it is fun to watch. Saw Jason Turner make adjustments, ball changes, end of game one. Let's see how his second game starts. On the left lane. Oh, baby. Almost at a 7 10. Instead of strike. Just enough. Jason says, easy now, take it easy. Thanks. Darty didn't like it, but really nice shot. There's that big long push away and great extension, great knee bend. Ah, throw it better than that, come on. You didn't like it very much, though, partner. <laughs> Sometimes it's not how, it's how many. Mm -hmm. Round of 16 in the first round last year. Early exits for TD. Let's see if that changes that this year. Better. Uh -oh. like it. Wow. Bump on the two, but it stands. What are you doing? Come on. Wide right. Thomas. Two spots on the line for the quarterfinals. Svensson Cooley still to come from here in Milford. So some Turn fans, Randy, would want to know why Tom's so upset early in a game after he just won the first game. Uh, he's upset with himself because he made a couple of bad shots, but it's he's fine. I mean, it's just self-talk, and it's like, all right, hey, come on, you can do that. I mean, this, at this level, these players expect to make good shots, but they're human, and they're going to make an occasional bad shot. So a little, a little self-reprimanding is okay. Shot here by Sterner. That was sweet. Crunch has the one three pocket. Opens up with two strikes. Just missed the seven ten on that first frame here in game two. The flash. Go. Left lane. Yeah. Yeah, you heard him say go, go. He wanted the ball to hold pocket. It did. Shots. Come on. Third frame for Dory. A little high. Four pin up. Could have been a lot worse. <clears throat> Tom Dory had never won a major. Until this year, AMF University Lanes, his home center in Tampa. We're at the four pin, no problem there. And Randy, it meant so much to your old friend Tom Dory to finally win that first major, didn't it? Yeah, it, it really did. You know, it was, he's been kind of that journeyman that uh, would make yeah, appearances would here and there. But at this year's World Series of Bowling in his hometown, I mean, he was he was unbeatable.
back injury super slam in Annandale, Virginia. A non title event, but big money. Got it for the end. Ten pin there. Uses his thumb for spares only. The impact of a pandemic on youth sports has been significant. And while recovery has started in some communities, too many children in need are still on the sideline. Visit GoodSports.org to learn how you can help Fox Sports and Good Sports restore play for at-risk youth and the programs that serve them through donations of brand new sports equipment. Turner looking to stay hot mm. game two yeah don't let him breathe stay on him they get a rack calls for a re rack four up four down to begin the game come on slow down Softer. One of two re racks left for Sterner in this game. Looks for the front five. Ten pin. Jason. Yeah. Ah. And Tom Doherty gets a breather now. Is that week 10 again? It's been the popular leave throughout the PBA playoffs. That shot. All right. Damn it. Sterner frustrated, Doherty. Hopeful. Make it a ball change. The framework's on a spare. Whoa. That's always frustrating when you make a change, you know, and then the ball looks so good going down the lane and, and it looks so good going through the pocket, and then you leave a ring in 10. Spencer Cooley. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? All international star matchup there. The Iceman. The Slim Reaper. <laughs> what are you going to do? That's a good one. I think, we, I think the, the fans should vote on whether I'm the, a big nickname not. guy. I love nicknames. They Talk like, about it, Randy. I can't hear you. Tell me what to do. Oh, um, Tom, just keep throwing it the way you're throwing it. Lanes will come to you. Just like that, Tom. Just like that. What a shot. And game two. Got to be interesting here, Randy. It really is. Jason Sterner off to a nice start, trying to even things up at one apiece. Lots more action to come. Back at the Kia PBA playoffs outside New Haven. Hey, Junior Bowers, want to start your journey as a pro? Head to PBA.com to sign up for the PBA Junior Club. 
Join now for access to exclusive PBA content, discounted tournament entry, smart scholarship awards, official merchandise, and so much more. Jason Stern getting loose. Little pre-shot workout. Come on, settle down. Jason Sterner's in great shape. You can see that from that profile shot. Um, my shape is considered round, and from what I'm being told, that's also considered a shape. <laughs> we saw Chris Vi yesterday. I mean, that guy is just ripped. These players are in much better shape these days. And they take uh, their workout seriously, and it really shows and pays off because both Chris Vi and that man right there bowled 99 games in two weeks at the Masters and then the U.S. Open. Both players making both telecasts. That's right. Chris Vi won the U.S. Open. Jason Sterner, 37 years old. Imagine trying to do that without being in shape. Good luck. 16 year pro, three titles. Last in 2019. Oh, that box. Fourth at the Masters and fifth at the U.S. Open back to back weeks. Different conditions, different formats at the USBC Masters and U.S. Open. Incredibly challenging. See his major performances this year. You feel like he's on the verge of breaking out. Well, that's three in a row. Unfortunately, it's not three strikes in a row. It's three ten pins in a row. Cross lane, ah. single pin, spare conversion for the 10 pin for Stern. Still a nice lead. Doherty can step up here and with a double cut it to 10 in the late going. Tom won game one, 245, 204. Big shot. Seventh frame. Ow. Move a little bit more. Two pin stance. Damn. Look at those numbers there. I'm so lost. I don't even want to hook at this. I just think that was just a bit too far right for Doherty to get it back. Yeah, ah, that was a shoot. An opportunity for him to get back in this, working on a strike. He would have thrown three in a row. All right, let's try something else. Give it a little air. Oh, he's going to go to loft again. Pick up. Come on. Now you pick up too much. All right, we'll move off that. Thinking, contemplating. Strategizing for the next game. Mm -hmm. You mean for the ninth and tenth frame roll? Excuse me, ninth, tenth frame roll. Exactly. This game isn't over yet. Stranger things have happened. Remember uh, the Jacob Buttrip Bill O'Neill match? Where Seven batter, it, it looked like a, a <laughs> it looked like a landslide, and damn it, Jacob let O'Neill back in, and O'Neill ends up winning. Second game, Buttrip fell apart, very end. Lost by five pins, and then O'Neill, the defending champ, won the roll off. Eight frames, Turner. Yeah, trip 10. Next matchup featuring Jesper Svensson and Sam Cooley. Nobody's bowled on the left side of the lane, so the lanes are going to be fresh for Jesper. 
Remember, there's no real oil in between matches, so Sam is going to be bowling on the traffic created by Tom Doherty and this man right here. Could have been messy. See the big miss there. Good Lord. See the break point Come right on. there. Clean it up. Mess. Trying to cover three six ten does so. Good shot, dummy. It's the spare of the game brought yeah. to you by Guaranteed Rate. If you believe it, you can do it. Guaranteed Rate. Believe you will. And the object here is to try to cover all three pins with the ball. Or you can throw the six into the ten. Ball change again for Tom. And just a little bit aloft. He strikes out. He'll force Jason Sterner to mark in the ten. Just a little bit of loft, not a lot. Well, Tom's thought process right now is we're probably more than likely going to go to a ninth and tenth frame roll off. Let me get lined up right now so that I have some ammo going into that. Mm. Trip 10 there. Whoa. Choice of lane would go to Doherty as a three seed in the ninth, tenth frame roll off. What's he thinking? He throws another one here. I think he's going to feel pretty confident if he doesn't win the game going into the ninth and tenth frame roll off. True Anderson, Lavoie Allen, O'Neill Buttruff, Hackett Prater, all gone to roll off so far in the Kia PBA playoffs. Seen plenty of that exciting Thanks. finish here. Tom calls for re -rack. One left in this game. Move a little bit more. Let's see your three. A little bit more. Come on. Let's see what happens. A couple more. Give it some air. Kind of what we saw yesterday with Prather and E.J. Tackett. They, the farther left they moved, they would leave that 2-8-10. Ball wouldn't recover at all. And that makes this much easier for Jason Sterner. Nine on the first ball, and we'll go to the roll-off. Needs nine, gets nine, and gets the game to win. Our fifth ninth tenth frame roll off already of the Kia PBA playoffs. Gotta love it, Randy. That's exciting. Yep. Even a 
I'll start. Heard it from Tom Doherty. He's going to have Jason Start. Four 10 pins in this game for Sterner, and he's still going to win. And Tom Doherty's going to make Sterner finish on that right lane. Right. Yeah. Start. Start. Yeah. Roll right in. Yep. By Bye. PBA rule, this time must be broken by a ninth and a tenth frame roll off. Jason Sterner will begin on the left lane. Here we go. Ninth, tenth frame roll off again. This first shot is critical. All right, what you got? What you got? The shot. Got a little loft behind that one as well. Those pins had no chance as he crushes the one three pocket. I mean, these matches have been so crazy and just flip flopping back and forth. Remember game one, Tom Doherty started with the front seven. Now he's in a 9 10. Oh Frame roll off, didn't like it. All right, 6 10. Might could have been worse. Tommy. Well inside a target for Tom Doherty. Just don't like doing that. Covers the 6-10, but Sterner has the upper hand. Got to have this one, bro. In game two. They already knows the time is now. Well, you just heard him say, you got to have this one, bro. Let's see if he's got it. Tom yeah. Doherty. Ten pin. Trouble. Just like that. Never was lined up. Damn it. Just like that, going from a just an overwhelming deciding game one win to losing game two by 11, and now his playoff life on the line. Shoot. And we've said it on past telecast how that pin right there is going to be the deciding factor in this event the players that figure out a way to get that 10 pin out for the righties are going to get shot at winning you know the difference between those two shots is not very much now he gets the trip 10 pin and stir steps up with a chance to end it Strike on this ball, he wins. Spare strike, he wins by one. Wants that strike. Doesn't get it. Careful. 2-5, very choppable. Easy to chop the two off the five pin. Tom Doherty still alive. This does convert. Big Come spare. On, Needs all 10. Doherty can't watch. Ah. If he gets nine, we have a tie. We'll go to one ball roll off. Eight, he loses.
strike for the win. Sterner. Nine. We're going to a roll off. One ball roll off. And Jason Sterner's very fortunate that we're going to a one ball roll off. Visibly, to me, looked nervous in that 10th frame. Tom Doherty will start this one ball roll off. New life for Doherty. Higher seed choosing the lane in the order. So Tom steps up. He's on the right lane. And he strikes. Takes advantage hey. of the fresh life. Hey, Mr. Big Shot, who do you think you are? <laughs> he is. That was, uh, that was a beauty there. Sorry. It's a strike. We'll do it again. Anything less, Doherty wins. What a match. All or nothing right here. A strike for another roll off. No, left to 10. Doherty wins it. And the one ball roll off. That's it, Jay. Jay, that's it. That's the one ball. And Tom Doherty moves on. What a match. <laughs> He's off to the quarterfinals to take on the winner of the next match here. Outside New Haven, Connecticut, Svensson, Cooley, Sweden, and Australia about to go head to head here on FS1. Randy, here it is, the winner. Yeah, he gets up and aces this one and puts all the pressure back on Jason Sterner, who went light, 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 three shots in a row on that right lane. Ball just never picks up. Let's go to Kimberly. Well, Tom, congratulations on the win. But I got to ask, how shocked are you that you're standing in the winner's circle yeah, right now? You, you, never, you never expect. I mean, he had four chances on one lane. And a couple good ones, a couple, I don't know. I, they got a little tricky for both of us. But I, you never expect your opponent to do that. I, I'm very grateful to advance. Well, you looked like you were going to run, run away with it that first game, and then something changed. What was that? Yeah, we, we've seen that in this format. you you got to win two games. And after the front seven, my ball just wasn't quite doing the right thing and I was in between balls. So I was trying all the tricks I have to make it work and then finally I kind of found something at the end of game two and then I just didn't execute in the, in the ninth and 10th frame roll if I deserved to lose. It wasn't, it wasn't a very good performance in the ninth and 10th. Well, you are walking away with the win today so congratulations on advancing to the quarterfinals. Thank you. Tampa Tom is through to the round of eight. Wow, Kimberly, what a match that was. Sam Cooley who in Tampa got his first career PBA Tour title. Takes on the Iceman next. Yes, for Svensson. Ready to bowl here at the Kia PBA playoffs. Outside New Haven, Connecticut. What a matchup. All international stars here in Svensson and Cooley from Sweden and Australia. Now let's meet the bowlers. From Gothenburg, Sweden, rolling out of John Scott's Parhul Arena, Jesper Svensson. The Iceman cometh. With a piercing stare and the tour's most powerful strike ball, Swedish-born Jesper Svensson is the Iceman. A former bricklayer in his hometown of Vimmerby, Svensson emerged like a white walker from beyond the wall to become an international bowling sensation. The youngest ever winner of the PBA Tournament of Champions and the first bowler to have five PBA Tour titles by age 21, this former Rookie of the Year is as tough as he looks. Can this Iceman take it all and become the Ice King on the PBA Tour? This is Jesper Svensson. Here's the Iceman again. 
And this is going to be fun to watch. He's using reactive resin, which is not the norm for Jesper Svensson. He likes to use the non-reactive bowling balls. Only remaining lefty. PBA playoffs. The two-hander gets started. Wow. Look Shrapnel at, everywhere. Look at that rev rate. Highest on tour. It's a big number. <laughs> Appro anytime you're approaching 600, that's a oh, big number. Oh. Seven pin up. Great athlete. Grew up in Sweden. Hockey, soccer, and then just showed up with bowling, fell in love with the sport. From Australia, bowling out of Shell Harbor Bowl in Mount Warrigal, Sam Cooley. Well, look at that. It's another winner from the land down under. After chasing titles for six years and coming in third three times, right-handed Australian Sam Cooley finally enjoyed a trip to the winner's circle at the 2021 PBA World Series of Bowling when he beat Chris Prather in the final match. While he might have a long way to go to catch up to a certain Aussie, this first PBA title will definitely help his efforts to be more than just that other bowler from Australia. Making a name for himself on the PBA Tour, this is Sam Cooley. That other bowler from Australia, Tom <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> it's not Belmont, it's Sam Cooley here, and there's his archer. Emotional victory in Tampa, first of his career. We're going to shine in Connecticut as well. Bring a 10 pin. This guy gets a little on it as well. I mean, he's over 500 rev rate with his thumb in it. That's, that's approaching EJ Tackett territory. Long arms. And then there's that big snap and the unusual fall through. You see some players follow through to the left of the head. He really goes in that direction because of what his hand does at release. March 15th, World Series of Bowling in Tampa. First career PBA Tour title. He lost his mom due to cancer, and he dedicated that victory to her. It was very emotional for Sam. You can almost hear that ball chewing up the lane surface. Watch this follow through. Yep. And that's what his hand does at release. It kind of folds to the end. That thumb goes a little left and it takes the hand and the follow through with it. Jesper. Right lane. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Rev rate uh, 570. Those pins have no chance, Randy. No chance whatsoever. Well, if you like pin action, swipe right, because this man can sure sling the wood. Two-hander from, from the left side in between third and fourth arrow. And just some really, really nasty pin action. And Thomas Larson of Denmark, the only two European players in this year's playoff field. Left lane for the big sweep. Oh, yeah. So I think Lucas Wiseman needs to put something up on Twitter or on PBA.com. Vote for your favorite nickname for Jesper Spencer. Absolutely. Is it the Iceman or is it the Slim Reaper? Reaper. You know, right here, this shot, the Slim Reaper just using his scythe and mowing pins down. You probably gave Jesper a new idea for a cool tattoo as well. He's got some awesome tats already. Yeah, he does. Uh -oh. it. Whoa. 
That one came back from Bradley International. That took a left turn. Left turn signal. This is about as far right as you can get it and get it back. And you can see just by his reaction, he didn't think it was getting there, but it did. Wow. Tattoos the one three pocket. Dave, they're not booing. They're yelling, Cooley! Cooley! Inside a fourth arrow, and I mean, that is just 10 back. Ball ended up in the four pin spot. You like power? Well, you're gonna like this match. Both players possess it. You came to the right place. Yeah, man. Last quarterfinal spot. Kia PBA playoffs on the line here. Fence in. <laughs> Fun to watch him throw something other than urethane. I mean, with all that power, you, you, you know he has to be forced farther to the right and open the lane up more. And it's not something that he likes to do, but he has been working on it. The feat to success for Svensson. The Slim Reaper rocks the rack. Listen up. Oh, we'll get away with it. It's like his ball creates its own vortex. It just kind of sucks the pins right off the deck. Pins are a blur, even in slow-mo. Cooley looking for the four bagger here after Jesper is knocked down four in a row. Sam Cooley, 10 pin new. Well, that is actually a little better shot than the last one on the right lane, and this time he leaves a week 10. Sam has been in the U.S. since January 13th. And now we're into May. He'd very much like to go back home to Australia. Of course, depending on how things go at the PBA playoffs. One know all time against Jesper. Knocked him off back at the players in 2016. But it's an expensive venture to go back home. The flights, of course, are very high. And he's got to stay in quarantine for two weeks on his own dime when he gets to Australia right now. No. It's tough for the international players being away from home for so long. So he's probably going to hang out in the U.S. <laughs> Definitely. Good shot. Great shot. Really good first game. The race to two here, Randy. Look at this guy ball. Yes, for Svensson of Sweden against Cooley from Australia. More on the way. The on-lane graphics you see today, including the ball tracer, courtesy of Clutch Bowling. Oh, it's spectacular. Round of 16 match. Game one, race to two. Win two games, you move on. If it's tied, we have a ninth, 10th frame roll up. We've seen plenty of those, including Doherty Sterner here tonight. He looks like he can blow a candle out just by staring at it. <laughs> Intense dude, no doubt. Nice shot. Out of the break. 
Let's break it down here, RP, with the strike track powered by Kia. Yeah, and he, you know, his strike track numbers in terms of ball speed are spot on, but here's the difference between the two and how they're playing them. Jesper Svensson just a little bit farther towards his side of the lane. Sam Cooley way inside. And the break point just about identical. Left lane. Three pin this time for Jesper. Location was really good, and you saw Jesper kind of motioning with his wrist right there. So that that had to be a release issue. That would be the only explanation why that ball didn't get to the pocket. Cooley trailing by 20 can cut it to 10 with a strike here. Action. He strikes. Let's go back to Kimberly. Well, Dave, you mentioned Sam's emotional win earlier, and during our pre-show interviews, we asked him what has changed since then, and he said that things really haven't changed much, except it gave him some additional confidence. He then told us that before the season, he worked with a sports psychologist and wondered if he should start looking for another career. He said there was a lot of doubt about continuing to chase this dream, but my win gave me confidence to know that I'm doing what I should be doing. Look at the gouge in that bowling ball. So that got stuck in a machine somewhere. Uh, it basically chipped a big chunk out of his bowling ball, but since it's not in the track, it's all good. And apparently he really likes that ball. Left lane strike. Amazing. Going back to Kimberly's report to think about how close he was to hanging up the shoes there, Randy. I mean, one victory can really turn things around. The rotation there, and then you can now you can pick up the chunk, <laughs> chunk tracker. Yeah, chunk tracker. Guess what? Uh, this match, all even. Six seed last year, surprising loss to Brad Miller by 13 pins at the playoffs in Centerville, Virginia, a year ago. I'm just wondering if his ball reaction is going to turn into what we've seen on the right side. Remember yesterday how messy the middle part of the lane got for um, EJ Tackett and his match with Chris Prather. Jesper Spencer, the only southpaw on today's telecast, but I'm just wondering if, if the middle part of the lane is going to get goofy for him as well. Big shot here. Strike, he can't be shut out. All tied foundation frame. What a game here. Oh. Wow. Oh, baby. And it's like pruning a tree with a chainsaw. <laughs> Now Sam's got to respond here. Looking for the four bagger into his night frame. Really well bowled game for each. Response. We're tied. Yep. What a great shot there by Sam Cooley to keep it even now. Coming down to the 10th frame, who does what will determine who captures game one. Oh. 
hook. Wants it to hook. Oh, good shot. Ten pin. Yeah, look at the break point, folks. And that's wide at target down lane. And that's why he yelled for it to hook. Not curve, but hook. Unusual to see Sam reacting anyway. Things change dramatically with a non-strike. Well, Stenson needs first strike in the tenth to capture game one. a reference to the fill shot the striking on the fill shot 248 big game Jesper first ball strike he wins game one nine spare strike we have a tie this is the eighth match of the opening round of the playoffs we've had five roll offs already I'm feeling this one's got headed that way too Yes, oh yeah. Uh. Just slinging wood, and I mean, what a shot when he needed it to capture game one. Jesper Spenson comes through. It's a race to two, gotta win two games. He's halfway there. Let's say he's making that reactive resin ball looked pretty good, isn't he? Yes, he is. Jasper mm -hmm. Svensson wins game one. Halfway there, Randy, to the quarterfinals. Can Cooley make a comeback in game two? Stick with us and find out. The big names at the Kia PBA playoffs. Kyle Troop, the top seed, got by Andrew Anderson. Thomas Larson a win. Same for Bill O'Neill, the defending champ. And Francois Lovois knocked off Dick Allen. EJ Tackett, Christian Ascona, Tom Dory all are through to the quarterfinals, setting up some great matchups here. Yeah, it really is. I mean, uh, the brackets are just going to get this much tougher to get through. But some big stars, big names. Sam Cooley really bowled a nice first game. Now it's game two, race to two. He wins this one, a ninth, tenth frame roll off, which we've seen plenty of at the Kia PBA playoffs so far. And otherwise, he's done. And Jesper fills the final quarterfinal spot. Oh, in high. Three, four, six, seven. Three, four, six, seven. Sam's going to try to get his ball over here to the right side of the three and drive it into the four, seven. Can't do it. Early open game two. Crucial mistake for Cooley. Will his ball reaction hold up for one more game? What's it going to look like? Let's find out. That was pretty good.
I mean, I think he just got flagged for unnecessary roughness on the seven pin. Watch this. Yeah, it looks way better in, in real, real speed because that was one of the fastest snap sevens I've ever seen. Both 15 play. yards, repeat first down. Yeah, right. A powerful yes for Spencer. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Check the pins. I think they're cracked. <laughs> yeah, they're getting worn out, that's for sure. Both players have so much power. Yeah, just bulldozed. All right, Sam, come off, coming off of that split in the first. Let's see how he recovers and regroups. Really needs this one. It gets a good pin action. And the 10 goes down. And Cooley strikes. Every weekday morning, Skip Bayless, Shannon Sharp, go head to head on the day's hottest sports topics. Undisputed with Skip and Shannon, weekdays from 9.30 a.m. to noon Eastern, only on FS1 of the Fox Sports app. Left lane, Cooley. Yeah, trip 10. Yeah, way to recover, Sam. Good comeback after that first frame. Left arm out in front, keeps the shoulders open. There's that follow through, look at the rotation. Get a re I pick my ball up, right? I can take a re Yeah. That's yes, for thing. asking for a re rack but the, that has to be the first order of business. He picked his ball up first. Can't do it. But still has two left in the game. Won the first game by 20 pins. He's cruising. He's rolling. Very unique approach for the two-handed southpaw. Watch his feet as he's going to the foul line. See how they spread apart in that pivot step? Think he liked that one? Oh, yes. Asked for and received his first re-rack in the match in this game. One left in game two. Former rookie of the year. Thank you, sir. May I have another? This guy's locked in, Randy. Locked in. Front four for Spencer. And knocked 20 pins down. At least. Gooley has to respond. And he does. Splat. Yeah, this is for his playoff life right here. He has to win this game or he'll be eliminated, and he's going up against an absolute locomotive in Jesper Svensson. Left lane for Cooley, yeah, oh. trip 10. Okay, okay. That was a big trip 10. Got a four bagger. This is a huge hit for Sam to keep him in it. Even though Jesper still tw still leads this game, that keeps Sam Cooley close enough. The front five. He's got the nickel. Five up, five down for Jesper Svensson. 
Very rare do we watch Jesper Svensson using reactive resin. But boy, is it sure fun to watch. Have not had a 300 game yet at the Kia PBA playoffs. Had one last year with Francois Lavoie in Centerville, Virginia. Looking to get halfway home. No. Three seven. Well, that was just a bad shot, and, and he, you know, you look at his body language as soon as he lets go of it, he didn't like it. Tough conversion. Doesn't get it. Riffs. So from the front five to an open, and we've got a brand new game here. Benson was in control, but things have changed dramatically. Well, he couldn't have picked the worst time for that to happen. Sam Cooley working on the front on the four bagger when we come back with more. The PBA on FS1 is sponsored by Guaranteed Rate. If you believe it, you can do it. Guaranteed Rate. Believe you will. And by Kia. Introducing the all-new Sorento, the world's first storytelling machine. Jesper Svensson was cruising along here in game two until trouble in the six-frame open, so it's a brand new game. Well, right now, Looking for the five bagger, and the lead is Cooley. Trying to stay red hot, out of the break. Can he do it? Nice shot. And we have a new leader. Lost game one by 20 pins. Now leads game two. the rack again here. Oh. Good shot. Ten pin. So I clean the approaches of blue oil. Just leave it there. Well, that was a, an approach issue for Sam. Ball still enters the pocket pretty nicely and leaves a ring in ten. And now can Jesper take advantage? For the right to take on Tom Doherty in the quarterfinals. Top seed in Reno, but a loss to fellow European star Thomas Larson of Denmark. Let's get back in the winner's circle for a while. Yes, Burr. Seven pins. And this game starting to look like it's going to come down to the wire as well as Jesper leaves the corner pin on the left. Max scores here to see it. This could go right down to the last shot. Cooley wants the ninth, tenth frame roll off. Jesper wants to close the door. And advance to the round of eight. Left 
left lane. Another big shot. Big strike. Yeah, when he gets it a little bit farther to the left, it hits friction. And it comes off the spot nicely. Sam Cooley strikes out. He'll even this match up. See the max scores. Three pin lead, works on a spare, eight frame, that's got really hurry. Oh boy. And it didn't. Uh, good shot, not nuts. Two, ten, split. Wow. Huge miss. Said it, then he said it. And Jesper is in great shape now, up 10 pins, heading into his foundation frame. Jesper working on a strike as well. Mm. Cooley in his playoff life is going to come down to the ninth and 10. His max score now just 234. Jesper 244. Excuse me, 254. Opens in the first and the eighth of game two. Tough to recover from. Let's see if he does. Somehow the seven stands. It's creating so much angle here, Dave. And sometimes when you're creating that much angle, pin carry starts to suffer. The side rotation on that bowling ball. Well, Jesper Svensson can now slam the door shut on Sam Cooley. Terrible. Strike in the ninth and a mark in the tenth. Jesper Spenson punches his ticket. To the round of eight to take on Doherty. Hey there. Oh. Oh, he almost had uh, a tough split to deal with there. Four seven up. Huge break there, tripping that split out. Playing with fire is the Iceman. All right, cover the spare, a double in the tenth. He still wins. As the 4 7. It's going to take a re rack on this left lane. Second and final of the game. That's what he needs to shut out Sam Cooley on the bench and end this match. If he goes strike spare, Sam Cooley can strike out for a tie. But this is the biggie. If he doesn't strike on this ball, he can lose this game. Kidding me? How is it still standing? All right, if he covers this and strikes on his fill shot, he'll force Sam Cooley to get all three in the tenth to win by one. I promise you, this is exactly how he wanted to throw it. Ball goes right by the eight pin. All 
All right, big shot coming up. Phil shot strike. Forces Cooley to throw all three. Will we have another roll off? Will we have a one ball roll off to get to a ninth and tenth frame roll off? There's the strike. Oh, oh, oh. Crushes yeah. the rack. How's it going to end? Last time strike out here, buddy. Wow. Last time up for Cooley on the right lane. Remember, he went 2 10 split. Nothing that man can do but watch. That was the eighth frame, his second open of this game. Needs it. There's one. Nice little break there, gets in that switch zone. Can't ask for a better opportunity if you're in the 11th seed, Sam Cooley here. It's in your hands. Get the second of three. Yes. Better shot. Much better Kennedy, shot. Guys. Great result. And just snaps the ten out. Now all ten. And we go to a ninth and tenth frame roll off. If he gets nine, we go to a one ball roll off. To determine the game two winner. What a finish here in game two. What a show here today. This is awesome. A strike for the game two win. We have a tie. To break this tie, it's going to be a one ball roll off. Game two, one ball roll off. By PBA rule, this tie must be broken by a single ball roll off for the game. Jesper Svensson will begin on the left lane. Makes sense. He just finished there. What an effort from Cooley. Came so close. Jesper. Seven pin still stands. Strike by Cooley. We go to a ninth and tenth frame roll off to decide the match. If he does not strike and gets nine, we'll have another one ball roll off. Eight, less, and he loses. Less than nine, he loses. <laughs> it all comes down to this. Wow. Just awesome. Left lane for the win. How about nine? How about another? Oh, seriously. One ball roll off. Oh, baby. Wow. Wow. They'll move to the right lane now, and we'll do it all over again. Who is going to take this thriller? What a battle.
Back to Jesper. Seven pin nudge stands again. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. We've man. seen this before. Now Sam Cooley with a second shot in the game two one ball roll off format to force the ninth, tenth frame roll off to see who wins this match. Here we go again. Incredible. For the win again. Got it this time. <laughs> We're going to the ninth, tenth frame roll-off as he wins game two. What a comeback by Cooley. Amazing. Now, the ninth, tenth frame roll-off. By PBA rule, this time for the match must be broken by a ninth and tenth frame roll-off. And Sam Cooley will begin on the left lane. go back and look at the solid eight pin that Jesper left in the tenth frame carries that hit and of course he struck on the fill shot this match is over and then back to back seven pins for him both players leaving splits past the halfway point of that game Cooley the 210 Benson the 37 all important first shot ninth tenth frame roll off. Oh, and now all of a sudden, Luke, who's getting the carry breaks, huh? Oh, man. Sam Cooley. Well, that should have been a nine pin, and it wasn't. The ball went right past it, but enough pin action for a flyer to come in and take out the nine. On a hop, on the bounce. Max score for ninth and tenth frames, 60. Pressure really on. Yes, for now. Uh oh. Well, it's a tough lead to the 247. But if he spares and strikes out, he'll force Cooley to throw two more strikes on that right lane. Yes, for Svensson. Now it's his playoff life on the line. He just sort of thought at some point, yes, would take over during the roll off. Missed it. Chops it for seven stands. That's what you got on this one. Similar fate at the Players Championship to begin the season in Jupiter, Florida for Jesper. And now he's in trouble. And now it's over. All but over now. See it. Unfortunately for Jesper, he derails at exactly the wrong time. Cooley wins the multi one ball roll off in game yeah. two. All right. If this is not a performance I'm going to be ashamed of. That's very good. Going with his ball choice for this match in the end. Was that the difference? Uh, I, I mean, I think he he did everything right. I, I think he made the right ball choice. I think maybe coming down the stretch, there was some issues with shot making. The sixth frame of the last game where he went 3-7, then he went for the nose in the ninth. Just got to keep on the lane here for Sam Cooley. But yeah, I mean, I, I think I wouldn't have changed anything. Just a couple better executed shots, and I think that's the difference. Sam Cooley advances to the quarterfinal.
He has knocked out the sixth seed, Jesper Svensson. And Sam will take on Tampa Tom Doherty in the round of eight. Quarterfinal is now set here, Randy, with our great matchups at the 2021 Kia PBA playoffs. Troop, Larson, Lavoie, O'Neill as Kona Tackett and Tom Dory and Sam Cooley. Randy, that was quite a day of bowling. That was a lot of extra innings. Our 2021 Kia PBI playoff coverage continues next Sunday on FS1, noon Eastern, with quarterfinal action right here from Valera Milford in Milford, Connecticut, just outside New Haven. Now for Randy Peterson and Kimberly Pressler. It's Dave Ryan saying so long for now. You've been watching the PBA on FS1. What a day of bowling. Tom Doherty, Sam Cooley needing roll-offs to knock off Jason Sterner and the Iceman himself, Jesper Svensson. And they get it done. Both are off to the quarterfinals at the 2021 Kia PBA Playoffs.